New at 11, and we have details of the first civil lawsuit following the deadly school shooting in Parkland now more than two months ago. It names not only confessed shooter Nicholas Cruz, but many others who knew him. CBS 4's Kerry Kahn is live at the courthouse in Fort Lauderdale with details. Kerry. That's right. This lawsuit is filed today on behalf of victim Anthony Borges, a student at the school who was shot five times but survived the shooting. Named as defendants, Nicholas Cruz, the estate of his late mother, Linda, the couple that took Cruz in after his mother died, and several mental health treatment facilities. The attorney for Marjorie Stoneman Douglas victim Anthony Borges and his family filed this civil lawsuit in court Tuesday. They're suing a host of people and entities. Anthony Borges and his family want to reach the truth. And this is the only way it's going to happen. Attorney Alex Ariaza says confessed killer Nicholas Cruz is one of the defendants. So is Cruz's late mother, Linda, who records show called the Broward Sheriff's Office many times over the years to report behavioral problems with her son and likely knew of his interest in guns and penchant for violence. When she didn't address this problem with her kid, eventually 17 people paid with their lives. The Borgeses are also suing James and Kimberly Sneed, the couple who took Cruz in after his mother died. Ariaza says when Cruz showed up with guns, including an AR-15 that he supposedly kept in a gun safe, that should have been a red flag for the couple. He's not bringing a stray dog into your house that he wants to keep while he's there. He's bringing an AR-15. I mean, this is a serious rifle. And you're going to ask, you, you have the responsibility to ask questions. You know, we feel so sorry for what happened at Stoneman Douglas, but the Sneeds are not responsible, not morally, ethically, or legally. Jim Lewis is the attorney for the Sneeds. He said the couple told Cruz to lock up his gun, and the family thought they had the only key. Lewis says the Sneeds did nothing wrong. What is this going to say to anybody else out there who might think about taking in a troubled youth to try to help them? They're not going to do it, not if they're going to be legally responsible for what they might do. But Ariaza feels differently and says the Borges family is committed to getting the truth. The main purpose for doing this is to be able to get to the truth so it'll never happen again. Now, this lawsuit says they're seeking damages of more than $15,000, but the attorney told me today the Borges family will likely ask for much more than that. They have a mountain of medical bills. Anthony faces a lengthy recovery. The attorney said they also plan to sue the Broward Sheriff's Office, the Broward School Board, and the FBI. But when you sue a governmental agency, you have to give them several months of notice. Live in Fort Lauderdale, Kerry Codd, CBS 4 News Tonight.